Variables and constants. Uh, we got a little bit of a sneak peek in this in the previous video when I was showing you how to use types and I was declaring variables. So you may have a little bit of an idea, but let's dive into that a little further. What variables and constants do is they capture a value so you can use that value throughout your code base. Right back to the previous example, talking about integers, when we said uh, var high score of type int equals zero, we're capturing the value of zero, and now it's in a variable called high score. Now we can use high score throughout our code base. So again, the fundamental knowledge is variables and constants capture a value. Now, what's the difference between a variable and a constant? Well, a variable has the ability to be mutated or changed, whereas a constant cannot be mutated or changed. And there's some pros and cons to both, right? So uh, if you make something a constant, it's a little bit of a safety feature to where you can't accidentally change it when you don't mean to. Xcode will yell at you. Uh, and then also there's a little bit of a performance optimization uh, because Xcode, if something can be changed, you know, it has to allot for that possibility. Whereas with a constant, you say, no, this is the value. It is not changing. Xcode can optimize that and your code can run faster. Now in this first lesson, I'm gonna show you how to open up a playground and set everything up. Uh, but on future lessons, we're just gonna skip this step. So here, uh, get started with a playground, click on that. We'll start with a blank one, so hit next. And I'm gonna name it um, bag-variables. And I'm prefixing all my stuff with bag because that's how I'm organizing my files all around the beginner course. You can name it uh, whatever you like. And I'm saving that to my desktop uh, for now. And let's make Xcode fill up the whole screen for you. There we go. And uh, your playgrounds will automatically start with a uh, variable that says hello playground. That's a string. Uh, remember we talked about this in the previous video. Like so just a real quick example. This is a vario called str that is uh, type inference to be type string because Xcode knows this is a string. All your playgrounds automatically start with that. Let's delete this. Don't get ahead of me, Xcode. Uh, all right, so let's talk about variables versus constants. Let's continue with that high score example. So var high score equals zero. And again, type inference on the end. I don't have to say it. So now I can actually change high score. So I can say high score equals 55, right? I can update my high score. I did really good on the game, updated my high score. The reason I can change that is because we declared it with a var. So it's a variable. Now, if I made this a let, which is a constant. So if you want to declare a constant instead of var, you do let. Now, if I run it, you'll see it's going to say, cannot assign to value, high score is a let constant. So, but like I said, if it's a let, Xcode will say, no, you can't change this. If it's a var, you can change it. And real quick, just to avoid any potential confusion, when developers are discussing code, and you may hear me say this throughout the course, is oftentimes they'll just call these all variables, whether it's a let or a var. You may not distinguish between the two, right? Oftentimes you just say, create a variable for that and do this with it. And that's because when discussing code, you may not know all the specific implementation details if it needs to be a let or a var. So if I say, hey, we're gonna declare a variable here, I'm not always saying it has to be var, right? It could be let. So variable is kind of like the overarching you know, way to refer to it. And then deeper, you know, the difference between let and var depends on your implementation details. So again, to avoid any future confusion, if I call something a variable, but I make it a let, that's why. But again, the textbook answer, right? So somebody could come up and correct you because technically they would be correct. You should call it a constant or a variable. But again, oftentimes in just common conversation, we just call them variables. So hopefully that avoids future confusion. All right, let's change this back to var and let's give two more examples to just really, really drive this point home. So something like a name uh, of a person, right? You don't wanna change that. So you would do something like let my name equals, and this is a, a string here, Sean. So now I can't just do my name equals, you know, Joe, right? It'll yell at me, right? Because uh, my name is a let. Cannot assign value my name. It is a let constant. But something, uh, let's delete this, more along the lines of, you know, var current active users, right? That's something that is always fluctuating. We'll say that equals 124. Now I can change and update that, right? Like say I get a huge spike in traffic on my app. I can, you know, say, okay, we need to set current active users equal to 1,458, right? And that can be changed because that is a var. And to reinforce the core concept of variables and constants, they capture a value. So you can use that value, for example, this current active users value, I can use that throughout my, my code base. For example, you know, if current active users is less than four, print out traffic is way down, right? I can do stuff like that based on the value that's captured in this variable. 